In this video, we're going to go over sum and difference formulas for cosines and sines. And for our example, we have our angle in radians. So it's much easier if you convert your radians to degrees, and that's what I'm going to do. So pi over 12 times 180 over pi gives us 15 degrees. So I can rewrite sine pi over 12 as sine 15 degrees. Since my ones end with 15, I know I must use 45 degrees. However, if you look at our unit circle, we have zero degree 30, 45, 60, 90, 120, and so on. And we don't really have 15 degrees. So I'm going to make, um, I'm going to choose two angles, but one of them will be 45 to look like 15, which will be 60 degrees minus 45 degrees. So I'm going to use sine A minus B. That will give us sine 60 cosine 45 minus cosine 60 sine 45. And we know that sine 60 is equal to radical three over two. Cosine 45 is radical two over two. Cosine 60 is half. Sine 45 is radical two over two. You multiply this out. Then you have a radical six over four minus radical two over two. You can stop there or you can combine it like this. So we found our sine pi over two by using the difference formula for sine. 